You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a, a fan favorite, Lynn Smith. Hey, Hi, Lynn, Mark. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. You're always doing good things, and the month of June is no exception. The month of June is a busy month. So we're going to start at the end of the month, and then we're going to come back to mid-month. Perfect. So the end of the month, on the 25th of June, which I believe is a Sunday. Correct. Four o'clock. Frederick Douglass event. Tell us about it. That's right. Well, you know the Frederick Douglass Community Flower Garden is at 95 Frederick Douglass Avenue, the old high street. And every year we read Frederick Douglass's speech, What is the Fourth of July to the Slave? Because, you know, there was a dichotomy back in the 1840s, 1850s, where we were celebrating the independence of our country, and yet mm -hmm. we had people in slavery. And so his speech that was commissioned for a group of suffragettes out in, uh, not suffragettes, uh, abolitionists uh, out in New York, really has a lot of notes that ring true today. So we gathered in the community garden at four o'clock and we're the only city, I think, in Massachusetts that reads the speech in a variety of languages. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do Haitian Creole, Cape Verdean Creole, what other languages? Well, we put a, a call out on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, Frederick Douglass Community, what is it, Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, and we said, you know, if you speak the language of your ancestors and you would like to come and read a paragraph in your familial tongue, feel free. So we're hoping this year that not only will we have the regular Spanish, English, Cape Verde Creole, and Haitian Creole, but maybe we'll get someone who speaks Greek who will come. Maybe we'll have someone who oh. speaks Yiddish who will come. Maybe we'll have someone who speaks Lithuanian who will come. It's too bad my father isn't up there. He does five languages and a couple more to boot. His undergraduate degree was Romance Languages. He's 90. He's not mobile. Yeah. And that's my big regret in life, mm. Lynn, not learning other languages. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work on that. Even old dogs can learn new tricks, okay? But the only thing I've ever seen similar is I went to a community Seder, that Nation of Immigrants it was called, mm -hmm. and they did the four questions that are asked at Passover in about 20 different languages. It was phenomenal. Yeah. So we know we have at least 20 different languages Absolutely. in Brockton, so come on down. Absolutely. So all they're going to do is contact you, and it even you'd like to know in advance, but worst comes to worst, they can show up. Right, and here's the easiest way to do it. We have a website, which is Douglas with two S's, so douglasbrockton.org. We posted the PDF of the speech on that site with each paragraph numbered. Okay. So you can read the speech and you can email me and say, Lynn, I am picking paragraph number 17. Mm -hmm. I'm going to translate that in advance and I'll come to the garden on the 25th at 4 o'clock and I'll be ready to read my paragraph. And the nice thing is the audience will have the speech in English right. so they'll be able to follow along. That's great. And not only that, the speeches are a highlight. Ooh, you get goodies. We do, because, you know, we like to have a little community conversation afterwards. And so the tradition for this speech is we have pies. We have blueberry pie and rhubarb pie and um, sweet potato pie. I don't know how many different pies we have with real whipped cream. Oh, real you can't whipped go wrong. cream. That, that, that would get me there just anyway. So, right. Um, it's a good event. The garden, you guys have done a lot of work. And Lynn, i got to commend you. You're so organized to have the paragraphs numbered and have people just be able to look at it. That, that's a feat. Okay? Yeah. It takes a lot of work behind the scenes to do that. Well, so thank you. I you and the whole group. Thank you. Thank so you. that's the end of the month. But earlier in the month, you're involved in what I would call a great endeavor. Hundred years ago, it was 1917. Mm -hmm. Brockton was a very different place. Different immigrants were here at mm -hmm. the time. We didn't have Cape Verdean Creole and Haitian Creole, but we had all sorts of other mm -hmm. immigrants, and it's a big hot topic now these days mm -hmm. in the world. You're doing a Campello pop up village. Now, I know that the south side of Brockton is Campello, the north side of town is Montello, and then we're in the downtown, and then there's east side, west side. But this is a flashback, a throwback. You have all sorts of folks involved. Mm -hmm. It's you got a big committee. It's a it's kind of a mammoth effort because it's six hours. So it tell is. us about it. It is. Well, this all started as the idea was. You know, we have our beautiful new Georgie Keith Park, mm 
-hmm. that's being renovated and the memorial fountain is coming back. And the original idea was to have a celebration in the park to celebrate its renewal. But, you know, the weather, the rain has not been good over the last month. And so the park is a little bit delayed and we didn't want to stomp on the brand new grass. So we're not going to do it in that park. We're going to do it close by. But the idea was, how do we celebrate the cultural crossroads that is Campello, all of our diversity, and how do we also talk about our history so that we learn from it? What would those immigrants who came here at the turn of the century and lived here in 1917, what would they say about where they went to school, how they found a place to live. Did they still have a horse and carriage? Did they have an automobile? How did they learn English? What would they say to the folks who live in Campello today, some of whom might be new immigrants? How did you find a place to live? What about your schooling? What about learning English as a second um, language? We do a great job in Brockton with Italian Flag Day and Greek Flag Day and Cape Verdean Flag Day and Haitian Flag Day, but this is a chance for everyone to come together as a celebration of the reopening of a park and really to learn from each other. So we're talking June 11th, which is a Sunday, mm -hmm. 12 to 6, and mm -hmm. it's at Nelson Playground? It's at Nelson cool? Playground, which is the field next to the South Middle School. Mm -hmm. And we chose that location for two reasons. First, we always want to have a weather plan. And if it was going to be rainy, which it is not, the Brockton Public Schools very graciously said, we'll open the school and let you move mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. They're going to open the school anyway to let us use the facilities. Secondly, if you know that playground, along Keith Avenue, there's a beautiful 10-foot high chain link fence. Sure. And we're not going to construct buildings like Sturbridge Village or Plymouth Plantation. Yeah. But what we did was we went down to Benner's camera shop and Bruce took three inch by five inch postcards and through the magic of digital photography, we've blown them up to eight foot by 10 foot backdrops. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hang those on the fence and then in front of each backdrop, will be a vignette. So in front of the Huntington School, the children will do a spelling bee. In front of the Keith Mansion, we'll have our Flag Day celebration. In front of a typical tenement house, the Boston Housing Authority is partnering with Community Connections, the Family Center, and they're gonna set up a, an immigrant living room. Well, it, it's a great event. We had two of your colleagues from the committee mm -hmm. on as well. We're gonna package these together and just get everybody down there because Graduations are all over at that point. Mm -hmm. Picked a good weekend to do it. There's stuff the day before, but the 11th, that, that's the, 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 the height of the day. I know you have different types of music. He gave me the one minute cue. Quick contact information for that. Yep. Just about 30 seconds. We have a website which is campellopopup.weebly.com. We have a Facebook page, Campello Pop Up Village 1917. So all of the information um, is on both of those places. We have wonderful support from the community. We have contributions from the Campello Business Association, the Downtown Brockton Business Association, Brockton Housing, Barbour Welter, Churchill Linen, Copeland Toyota, Crescent Credit Union, um, the Cape Cod Cafe, Lady C and J will be cooking, as will the, the Cod. And I just got the cue. All right. So See you all on the 11th. Perfect. Thanks, Lynn. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.